Hi guys, it's Tim from Advanced In Car Technologies today and we're very quickly going to be running through this new awesome 2017-2018 uh, Discover Nav Pro system with gesture control. It's got a massive screen. Uh, you normally get it with the Golf 7.5, the new Tiguans and all that sort of stuff. So it's a nice big display there. We're getting our phone paired up at the moment and I'm going to run through some of the core features uh, that are on this system so that if you're thinking about buying it, etc, etc, then you can see what it's all about. So first and foremost, um, we'll go straight into the menu screen. And as I mentioned, it's got the gesture control. You literally just flip it to the side. You hear a nice flip. And that process is used all the way throughout your experience with this VW system. So first and foremost, you've got your radio, uh, you've got your digital radio, you've got your FM working nicely together. You've got your gesture control. You can move very quickly and very easily through your stations. Um, as I said, it's very whistle stop so you get an idea of how it all works. Telephone, my phone's already paired up at the moment. You can dial a number directly. You've got all your contacts in there and you simply just push through. It's really good. Contacts, you get all your pictures coming up on the display, which is nice. Uh, you've got your miss, receive, dial, blah, blah, blah. And then of course you've got all your favorites that you can add in there as well. Come back to the media. So if you've got your uh, iPhone plugged in, nicely that Volkswagen are giving off at the moment. So you can change your source and how you go through all of that. You've got your internal jukebox, SD card, USB, AUX, wireless internet, BT audio, CD, DVD, and loads of other stuff that you're probably never ever gonna use. Especially if you've got CarPlay, you probably might be that way inclined more at Android Auto, so you've got two ways of being able to do it, okay? go back to menu uh, vehicle information so this is quite important to some people about seeing all their information and if you upgrade to aftermarket and all that you don't get very much through there so you can just scroll through all your different settings obviously you've got your buttons there as well and in your settings as well when you're in the vehicle screen you've got tires personalization how you want to do it lights how they interact with the car at night when you want it to come on etc etc uh, and then you've got all your parking, manoeuvring, how you want the tones to go off and all that sort of stuff. So we'll come out of this again. Back to the menu. Uh, Carnet isn't active on this vehicle at the moment, so there's no real point in showing you what that's going to do. So we'll, we'll jump straight into the navigation. If you've used the VW nav system before, it's very, very simple to do. Uh, you get a nice big display. As you bring your hand up closer, your POIs start to expand. You get more information and it's really easy to, to drop into a new destination. Like I said, I'm not really going to bore you to death, but we'll quickly pop in a postcode. And just to show you how quickly it is. And it's also linking online so that you can download extra information at the same time. You tap into that along with the number of the house and away you go. If you've got the virtual cockpit, which this car has, then it will also come up on your center console, which is quite a nice, neat feature. So you can have your nav there. You can have your media going on down here and it keeps it nice and nice and separate for you. Okay, so you've got your, your My Destinations, your POIs, your view. You can see what's going on with the media. And as you're driving, you'll then start to move around the map as you would with any sort of generic navigation system. Back to menu, um, App Connect. Here we go, we've got an iPhone here. Let's just unlock it. Pop it in the bottom through the, uh, the Lightning connector. If you've got Android Auto, then obviously you'll then get the Android Auto version of this system. It will uh, pop up in a second and ask if I want to install it as a new device, which we obviously do. Tap it, you'll only do this once. And what it does this is it will disconnect you from the Bluetooth side of things and then it was, is more of a wired connection. You allow it here. Um, you've got all, the, all of the features that you would have had on the VW system, you're going to have it in here. So it's up to you whether you prefer the Apple style or the VW style. But just to quickly run through it all again, you've got your Ooh, Siri you, there. You can see all your contacts, recent misdialed, etc, etc. Home button's down here, just like on the iPhone push that and we're back in back in the room maps if you really like apple mapping which some people do some people prefer google some people prefer vw then that's it's just personal preference you've got your time and your your signal status here and your most recent apps up there messages 
you can dictate a message you can go through a message um, really nice and simply Siri is really really good on this platform so it's, it's well worth using if you do get a lot of messages or you want to do it then you get your other generic stuff now playing podcasts audiobooks Volkswagen will pop you straight back into the, the VW system which we'll do in a minute push it through the only real two apps with CarPlay that you can pretty much that you can use any decent really is your Spotify and your uh, talk radio opens up Spotify in here and you get all your nice album artwork let's go workout playlist I will turn it down just a second because we don't want the old YouTube getting a bit funny with the old content management and as you go you've got your music you've got your nice scrolling you can go back to your car at any point and then just drop straight back in again I will do a separate video going into a bit more depth on how the CarPlay system works in this car because I think people will like that rather than watching the whole thing. So pop through to the menu again, you've got your traffic, you can see if you've got a route in place, you can see all the accidents and roadworks and all that sort of stuff that are going on around the zone and it will also try to reroute you as you're going along your journey if new things pop up, best routes etc etc. I'll just drop through to menu again. VW Media Control, um, so this is when you've got a tablet connected and you can use your app, you can use the app on your tablet to be able to control different elements of this system which is pretty cool. Haven't got a connection at the moment so I can't show it too much on there. Gesture it again, got your images, pretty self-explanatory, sound again self-explanatory, air conditioning, this is quite cool. I like things like this where you can see when you're changing your temperature and all this and seat heating if your screen's on etc etc so at the moment we've got 21.5 and we can see the direction that the uh, the air is flowing there's this new feature called air care tap that and basically as you can see if i push the eye designed to make use of the air filter in the passenger compartment basically removes fine dust pollen all of that sort of stuff come out of here and we'll quickly go into the settings menu swipe across pop into your settings and as you'd expect all the sort of normal settings that you'd get on a system of this type all in here nice and easy it's a really quick system to be able to use so you've got minimal time off the road it's a really great bit of kit and if you're thinking about upgrading your car to this system and I definitely suggest you do it it it's worth the money in the long run especially if you're going to be spending a lot of time in your car so this is the uh, Golf R that's 2017-2018 version uh, with the Discover Media System Pro. It's a generation two with gesture control, hence no buttons. If you want any more information, obviously get in touch with us. Uh, we like doing these little videos because people do actually quite enjoy them and being able to experience the system without being in the car remotely, etc. etc. Um, thanks for watching.